Hey everyone, so we went to the shops again today. We found something that we've seen online, especially with Blue Gabe and Deer Meat for Dinner. I'll link their channel down below. And I'm hoping they get to see it because I need pointers. We are doing a tuna dish. Well, uh, whole tuna, not canned tuna. Like We are inland, very much inland. The closest port to us or sea or coastline is more than six hours away, very much inland. So we don't really get to see much seafood. So now watch us try and prepare tuna, blue gabe and deer meat style. Okay, so here we have two things going on at the same time. My wife is busy chopping up ginger, getting that small and uh, enough like uh, chopped garlic. And we're going to mix in some What's wasabi that? with the actual uh, oil that we're going to use once again this fancy one extra virgin <laughs> um, so the uh, the ginger and wasabi we saw on the comments in um, Blue, Blue Gates videos and uh, whole black pepper some Malayan rock salt because why not use the highest point to spice the lowest fish <laughs> anyway and some smoked paprika so uh, what I'm going to do is just basically get everything spiced up and tasting fantastic now as I said before we have no idea how this actually works we checked out a few blue gate and uh, deer meat videos before we started the, doing this just to make sure we got the right idea and I think from there on forward we are going to be on our own but uh, this should be fantastic if you take into consideration mm -hmm. this is pretty fresh mm -hmm. we had this in the whole disc form and we asked the people at the shop to get it all filleted, filleted and spiced, oh, uh, not spiced, ready for the idea of cooking. So this is going to be interesting. I'm just dumping heaps everywhere. <laughs> I'll just make it fit. I'm salivating. So if you hear me swallowing constantly, that is why. I know you do this with meat proper meat this reminds me of steak so why not this is a big chunk <laughs> chungus all right that's one side done going to the other side and I'll see you back at the pan okay we have an awkward angle going on here I'll just keep checking and make sure that there's nothing out of focus or going nowhere funny I'm full of paprika <laughs> all right so now as you do, start off with oil and by the looks of it, blue gabe and deer meat have quite a bit of it get some garlic with the oil that just helps with everything as you can see I'm not at full speed, I'm about half feet somewhere there um, that's getting heat quickly and then getting some of this ginger. chopped ginger pickled chopped ginger, some ginger. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think this might be still too a bit too hot drop that down a little bit more we're going to try and do the wasabi a bit later fish on <laughs> one at a time. I'm going to do one at a time just to make sure we don't overcook these because like Blue Gabe said you want this 
more rare than two done. So uh, I'm going to give that a few seconds and see how it goes from there. When we finish with this, we, my wife is going to do a quick little uh, tomato and spinach. Fresh out of the garden. Fresh out of the garden kind of de deal. Quickly in the pan, just a little bit of cream, just as a side dish. Blue Gabe, if you're watching this, <laughs> yes, we can smell it. Alright, going for the first flip here, it's been about a minute. It looks good enough. Oh! That smells amazing. Not too done. I don't know if you can see it, but it's only about a quarter of the way there. So, not going for too much heat here. This ginger, pickled ginger, garlic, and olive oil has a smell here that I'm really loving. This is gonna be good, people. Alright, first one done. We still have a bit of a bloodline going on here. I mean, that's part of the experience, I think. Seabone steak, two. <laughs> At this point, I'm thinking we're doing the wasabi as a side, <laughs> just like you would do with anything else. So, I really don't want to screw this up. Mm. And that's another perfectly seared, one-sided, and uh, I'm, I'm losing words here. And if I'm not mistaken, this one is done. Let's get you a close-up of that. Look at it. That is blue gate done. All right, and now my cooking situation is done. Time to transfer the properties of the cooking to my wife. Fresh cream, spinach greens. Ooh, it looks good. And a couple of cherry tomatoes. Fresh out of the garden. Fresh from our own little garden. If you are, have been watching our channel for quite a while now, you will know that we used to have a bunch of rabbits. And the rabbits got out a couple of times and ate our cherry tomatoes. The now, <laughs> no, the plants. They finished the plants off. And now we have a bunch of cherry tomato plants growing everywhere. everywhere. <laughs> Back to some more pink Himalayan rock salt. I'm just being passed everything on. I think that's enough. The rest is in the oil already. And If we had some parmesan, I'd be putting parmesan over this. Mm -hmm. Always keep in mind, if you're making um, uh, spinach greens, you can put a whole bunch in there. They boil down quick. Mm -hmm. Don't know how long we're going to do this, my love. It's basically finished. Apparently it's basically finished. So. We are going to plate up and show you that little picture of gorgeousness right there. So don't go nowhere. 
All right, so there you have a little tuna and uh, spinach and tomato creamed dish of sorts. Next up is probably a taste test. Mm -hmm. So um, let's do that. I'm going to give the honors to my wife. Watch out for the spiny sponge. Mm -hmm. I don't know if it's this fish, but there's some, there's some bones in here. There will be bones in there. All right, so blue guy, dear meat, your recipes are not just only fun to watch, they're also easy enough for simpletons mm. like us to make it happen. Yum, yum, yum. So, um, thank you for that. Everyone else, have a blessed day, be great, Try stay this. bearded, and um, I'm gonna dig in to my little piece right there. So, catch you all next time on the Bearded Home Hobby Homestead. I almost messed that up. Cheers, people.